magnify him in Jesus precious name we have given thanks Amen. shall we ask the Lord this morning speak to me as a person I want to hear from you you waken at my ear money by money waken at my ear to hear as a learned speak to me as a person this morning Jesus I want to hear from you In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Lord Jesus, we are here again at your feet. Let your word locate each one of us today. Let everyone hooked on to this service receive a word from you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Give Jesus a big hand, please, and be seated. Every great event is a product of great preparation. No matter how intelligent a student, if he's not prepared for an exam, he will fail it. We have before us an agenda of divine visitation. The next 39 days, one day is gone. All the way from resurrection morning yesterday and up until May 22nd, God has ordained to visit his people. The resurrected Christ has programmed to visit us with infallible proofs. And what we need, therefore, is to prepare the way of the Lord. Praise God. And make straight his path so he can have access to us. He said, go through, go through the gates. Gather out the stones. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Amen. Isaiah 62 verse 8. So we have that responsibility to prepare the way of the Lord. Verse 10. To prepare the way. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast off, cast off the highway. Gather out the stones. Lift up a standard for the people. Preparation is vital to anything outstanding. And Jotham became great. Second Chronicles 27 verse 6. Because he prepared his ways before the Lord is God. Encounters with God are real. The Lord appeared unto Samuel as Shiloh by the word of the Lord. And we saw that little boy just one encounter after another. For Samuel chapter 3 verse 21. God still grants encounters to his people today. I am the Lord, I change not. All we need is to know what it takes to have encounters with God and then he shows up. John 14, 21, the Bible says, John 14, 21, whosoever has my commandment and keeps it is the one that loves me, and he that loves me with love of my father, and I will love him, and we manifest myself to him. I mean, so there are commandments to keep. If we must see him manifest himself to us. We can't have an encounter with him without knowing what is required to have one. We must know what is required to have one. And I can tell you this, your greatest asset in your work with God is your personal encounters with him. Your personal, he said, look to Abraham, your father, and Sarah, that be there. He called him alone, and I blessed him. It is personal encounters that makes the journey great you are going to have definite, undeniable, and infallible encounters with God within these 40 days of 
of the season of infallible proofs in the name of Jesus Christ. That you have not saying that Jesus he is does not make it not to be the truth. You are just here to see it. If you have not seen that Jesus prospers, does not erase it from scriptures, you are just yet to see it. Oh, I've never heard about 40 days. That's what you're hearing now. Ask chapter 1 and verse 3. He said, He showed himself to his disciples after his passion by many infallible proofs, being sent of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And nothing validates the truth of scriptures like testimonies. Nothing validates the truth of scriptures like testimonies. You must have yours in the name of Jesus. The psalmist said, when thou seest seek my face, my heart says, thy face, O God, will I seek. Psalm 27 and verse 8. Thy face, O God, will I seek. So, this week we're looking at biblical requirement towards encounters with the resurrected Christ. Biblical requirements. What do I need to do to experience my own personal encounter with the resurrected Christ this season? Amen. For you and I to qualify for an encounter with God, one must be spiritual. To be spiritually minded is life and peace, and to be carnally minded is death. One must be spiritual. A natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Now, now I just refer to Romans 8, 6. Now, in 1 Corinthians 2, 14, the Bible says, a natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God because they are foolishness to him. And neither can he know them because it's only accessible by the spiritual. It's only accessible by the spiritual. That's why the Bible says spirituality, which we call, call godliness, is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life which now is and the one which is to come. First Timothy 4, 8. Profitable unto all things. Profitable unto all things. Profitable unto all things. Spirituality is an asset of inestimable value. Having the promise of the life which now is and the one which is to come. One must be spiritual. One can be saved and still be carnal. He said, are you not carnal and do you not walk as men? First Corinthians chapter 1, I mean, um, chapter 3, sorry. And verse 3. Are you not carnal and do you not walk as men? For ye are yet carnal. You are carnal. So you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost and still be carnal. Amen. What must I do to experience my personal encounter this time? Number two, one must be in love with God. John 15, 15, I call you no more servants but friends. Because the servant does not know what his master does, but have called you, friend, because all that I've heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Amen. You are in love. It's a covenant qualifier for encounters. Can I do this thing and not tell my friend Abraham? So you just naturally qualify for his visitation. When you are genuinely in love with them. Genesis 18 and verse 17. Abraham, the friend of God. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? 
Being in love qualifies you for divine encounters. Being in love qualifies every believer for a divine encounter. Remember, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed it to them that love him by his spirit. Amen. So, so they just enjoy divine encounters naturally. 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 They just enjoy divine encounters naturally. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul, an addicted love of Christ, one encounter after another and after another and after another. Who shall separate us from the love of God as in Christ Jesus? One encounter. He said, whether in the body or out of the body, I don't know. But I knew a man 14 years ago. I mean, he was just one man that was living in another world. Because of his uncheckered love for God. Uncheckered love for God. So stay connected. Stay in love. When you become his friend, encounters with him becomes a natural experience. You just having it one after another. Showing up in a place where your lover lives is a delight. So when you become a lover of Jesus and you remain a lover of Christ with proofs, showing up to you at any time to you is, is his delight. <laughs> Amen. 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 Then he showed up again to Abraham. I mean, uh, um, walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will establish my covenant with you. And this is my covenant that I'm going to establish with you. <laughs> and then he showed up to him, bring me your son, your only son, Isaac, whom thou loveth. Let me see whether you love me more than you love him. And then you know what followed. You won't miss your package of encounters with the resurrected Christ this season. Be spiritual. Be in love. And of course, let's understand that God can manifest himself to us anywhere and at any time. Abraham had it on an ordinary day and the Lord said to Abraham, there was no special service or special program. Amen. Therefore, what I say to one, I say to all, watch. You want an encounter? Watch out for one. It can happen anytime can happen anywhere. All you need is to be spiritually sensitive. Mark chapter 13 verse 37. He said, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. You saw Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon my tower and what I want to see what he will say unto me and what I will answer when I'm reproved. And he said, right division. He was on a watch. He was on a watch tower waiting to see what God will say to him. So we have to remain on the watch Watching out for an encounter with Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. 
these visitations can come at any time and anywhere. At any time and anywhere. And we have shared quite a number of testimonies to that effect. Awesome God. Amen. This Monday was not delivered in the time of fasting and prayer. No. It was on a journey. Our mandate to Africa was not delivered on the prayer altar. It was in the car. Driving back home from a meeting. Our mission to the world was not delivered in the church service. It was in the hotel. Please. Set yourself on the watch. He will show up to you. In conclusion, please note that for you and me to qualify for encounters with the resurrected Christ, we must stay spiritual. We must stay in love. And we must stay on the watch. Stand to your feet. How many are expectant of infallible visitations? Undeniable encounters. Lift up your two hands and receive grace. To stay spiritual. To stay in love. And to stay on the watch out. Receive that grace. 